Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go ahead and dive right into this third phase here. The third platform here, you wanna make sure from a tanking perspective, you have a little bit more threat crystal set up because this is all about threat management from a tanking perspective. The reason that you want to get these threat crystals up is because if he is fighting near that crystal, he does a lot of damage. And the other thing is, is you need to be very cautious of your positioning here. Now, with this slam down he's doing both hands, you wanna get the stuns off. If you do not stun him, he will jump backwards and then jump forward immediately. Now, it's not that big of a deal if he jumps back and jumps forward because he can kind of get back to position, but you want to try to keep him still for your DPS, especially if you have sorcerers that use AoEs and different things like that. Now, on the signs, you'll see these mobs on the outside. The same point systems work here. You've got your 10-point jumps, minus 1,000 points for deaths. You white hit these mobs on the outside, you get an additional 1,000 points. The thing to keep in mind is they're not your typical mobs. They're very difficult. You can only really send one person over to go do the DPS. And if they do hit, they will knock down more than likely unless you have warning scrolls. So make sure that if you do do that, you are very careful about how you go about it. Now, also remember, um, if you have a healer with you and your health gets low, where you have the red screen, you will get additional 1,000 points for a quick heal. Warriors, this is very important. If you get to that damaging red screen and you do a DFA and it does hit uh, Barkon, may, you will get an additional 1,500 points. Now, if you do decide to go kill these guys on the outside, there is a crystal over there. There is a little ghost guy that'll pop up. You'll get 1,500 points for that if you kill the ghost that pops up. But you want to try not to kill the crystals. The reason for that is you get additional 5,000 points for killing the crystal without that. Barkon, if you actually defeat him, you'll get 30,000 points. If you're able to defeat him without the dragon's buff, you get an additional 30,000 points. You get 60,000 points just from that alone. If you do fail, there will be a 5,000 point reduction, and if it does rupture or crack, you're not going to get those additional bonus points as well. So, you're going to see here, we go on and do our stuns and do all the abilities we can. What I'm going to do is, is toward the end of this, is I'm going to go through and show you some of the masterwork lists where those agents are at. Because you do receive gold and silver talents based on your ranking. You will get silver talents for rank 5 and 4. You do start getting your gold talents around rank 3 two and one rank one you'll get two gold talents and you'll get six silver talents rank two is five silver talents and one gold point so or one gold talent so make sure you do your best to get rank two and a minimum because you can trade in 15 of those silver talents and you'll need 45 gold talents to do this one last thing do not forget that you only have three attempts into this dungeon because it's a very it's a limited dungeon now tuesday when we get the new update we're actually going to be able to go in here six times if you're an elite status so that'll be really nice to be able to do that as well and you're going to see here from a tank perspective we try to keep him as as i can as still as possible he's not very easy you see that flip back he does that's where we missed that stun don't worry about chasing him down though because he will come back to the front of you there from what you're going to want to do is keep using your Iron Will, keep using your Debilitate. I would highly recommend from a Lancer point of view, do Glyph the Debilitate. The 30 seconds will help you because then you can do other skills for threat in between and not have to worry about your, do your doing your debilitating abilities. So what I'm going to do is let you guys finish watching this out right here and you'll see the gold drops that we've got. And then additionally, you're going to see the rank system and how that works. There's also like an MVP, but there's nothing really special. Also, you all of your rewards on the screen that pops up is going to be sent to your post parcel post so go check your uh your banker the the guy that gives you the the mail there so that way you can go and receive those rewards and again if you get rank three or higher you do have the chance of the ghost helm and the deceit necklace and there's also a falsa necklace as well which is not as good as the deceit chain so right now i'm going to shut up and let you guys finish watching this and then we'll go through and talk about the agents and where they're at
So right here, we've got the three agents. We've got your melee talent agent, and we have the range talent agent. Just kind of going through here, showing all the different glyphs, the masterwork glyphs you can get that are 45 points a piece. Then on the far right, we've got your glyph boxes. These This costs 15 silver talents, and it's like a randomization. Keep in mind that that randomization is from the masterwork glyphs for TOT and Serjuka. So hopefully you guys have found this useful. If you have any comments, please leave them on my YouTube channel or find me on the Terra forums. Until next time, happy hunting.